Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to take a look at how we can call SOAP APIs using Power Automate. So there is a requirement where our Microsoft 365 Cloud should be reading or writing data back to some third party applications. So there are a number of ways like we can call any REST APIs, we can call SOAP APIs to do those uh, transactions. So you have been watching my previous videos, you have already seen that I have been using HTTP uh, requests or actions to call in any REST APIs using that endpoints and also I have created custom connectors for calling any of the APIs and passing the parameters and saving that the entire definition as a custom connector and we were just using that custom connector or the custom action in our flows in turn. So that calling RESTful API is straightforward step, not uh, much complexity involved. So, but SOAP API calling SOAP API is because these are dependent on this uh, WSDL that is web service description language. So as in post uh, uh, command or method, uh, we have to pass on the entire uh, payload body along with this uh, SOAP envelope and parameters. So we have to create one uh, one JSON file bef before like using that JSON file into our custom connectors. So I'll be explaining you the entire end-to-end -end process. So we can just go to any of the sample SOAP API request. So over here you're seeing like uh, I have actually opened one of the document from Postman that is explaining how you can make a call with a Postman to for any SOAP APIs. So over here in this tutorial, because I'll be just using one sample SOAP API. So that's why I have opened up this tutorial and the API which I'm going to use is having this endpoint. So this is a web service which converts the numeric number into the textual numbers. So if I am just entering 300, then it will return in return, it will give me T-H-R-E-E-H-U-N-D-R-E-D. -E 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 so it's a textual text representation of that digit number. So let's uh, just open this API. So I'll just open that into browser so that we can, we should able to see the service description. So if you see like WSDL is a web service description language, this is the entire schema. So what parameter it does take and what operations or methods are it's having. So if you are working with SOAP APIs, then you are, you must be familiar with what is WSDL. So I would not go into the detail of it because it's not the context of this video. So I'll just open the postman because what uh, in first step we'll be creating one JSON file, the collection file for using our postman, which in turn is calling this SOAP API with endpoint and we'll be passing the body, which is a SOAP envelope along with parameters. So I have just opened this postman and as in first step, I'll be creating a collection so I've just clicked on new and creating a collection I'll just name that as number convert conversion and create it so if you expand if you see like it has created one collection over here and you can click on add request and you can just give up your any name of two your requests call number conversion and save this to you you can click on this get request. Now the steps comes where we'll be just copying the endpoints from this tutorial that uh, sample SOAP API, which is a public one. So I'm just copying this endpoint, SOAP API endpoint. And as you are working with SOAP, uh, SOAP API, then you must be knowing that we have to call we have, for any writing or reading, we have to make a post operation and along with post operation, we used to pass the body, which is actually SOAP envelope as part of payload. So I'll be just going down to copy the SOAP envelope and that one. And I have just set that as raw and I have just pasted it. So it, this, this envelope is having SOAP body and operation, which is taking parameter UBI number as in 500. So it will convert, it will take this UBI num as parameter and convert this into a numeric two words actually. So we are done with this two part. We have pasted the SOAP endpoint, created this body. Now we'll be coming back to authorization 
because right now we are using a public SOAP API, so there is no authorization required. But if you are you going to work uh, for any other SOAP API within your company, so probably you can pick the required authorization based on your uh, the authorization type. So if you are going to choose basic authentication, you can just pass username and password. If you are going to choose API key, and you can just pass the API keys over here itself. And under headers, so there these are by default header added by Postman. So we have to add one more key value pair that is content type. So I just copy that content type because we are going to read the uh, return response into text XML. So that's why we are going to create the content type as text XML. And I'm just going to paste it text XML. So we are done and in next this header we have to pass the SOAP action. So this SOAP action if we are calling any SOAP API and we want to work with SOAP action we want to call any method then this SOAP action should be passed as an header key value there. SOAP action and the SOAP in the, in the value field we have to pass double quotes as the method name. So whatever method name we are, we are having, we want to call, we have to pass in this format. So I'm just pasting this. For us, this number conversion, the method name is post. I'm just saying that post. Don't forget to put these quotes because otherwise we'll get a 500 internal error for this request call. So just include this quotes and hash method name. So right now we are done. We have created headers. We have passed on body. So now we'll just do a send to test this API call. So we got this succeeded and in return in response, we got this number to word result that is 500. So our call is working. So the first step is achieved that our SOAP API call is working fine into Postman. Now I am going to export this collection. If I, I have just clicked on, right clicked on this number conversion collection and exporting it it will export the JSON into a JSON file and this JSON file I am going to use in turn with my Power Automate so I have just gone to my Power Automate so let's say like if you are lending to your Power Automate then the first screen would be this you have to go to data and then custom connectors because we are going to create one custom connector to call us to call this SOAP API. So from this, you will be choosing an import a Postman collection and the collection which we just downloaded, exported. I just say number converter connection and I'll import that number JSON file and continue. So this has imported few of the stuff that is host name and if I just go to security so as I, we have used no authentication over here so that's why it's saying no authentication otherwise like if you have used basic authentication then it would uh, be asking parameters for uh, username and password and directly going to definition so in definition you can see like it has already created that operation with call number conversion the same request number which we created in postman and under the request definition, it's having post and the, the URL, the endpoint is this. And as in header, it says like content type and SOAP action and body, which is a SOAP envelope, which we are going to pass as in parameter. So as in next step, I have to create the connector because we got this definition preloaded. And once the connector is created, we'll just test this entire custom connector. So the connector is created, validation is successful. I'll just directly go to test. We'll create a new connection. And after this, you can see, I have this raw body where I would be actually putting the soap envelope. I'll just copy this soap envelope from postman and paste it this is just testing this operation just 
so I just got response that is status 200 we, and body in response body we got this converted number to word so our connector is working fine we can just close this and refresh it it will be available to be used in any power automate so this is the number converter this is the connector so I'll just go to my flows where I'll be just creating one instant flow just to test this custom connector whether we are getting right results on calling it or not so I'll just go to this custom tab which will list my custom connectors so this is my custom connectors for soap ap call and this is the action call number conversion and you can see like it has pre-populated content type and soap action and in body we have to pass on the body which we copied is a soap envelope and i just change that to 200 and saving it so as part of your actual flow you can just create these parameter you can read this parameter as a dynamic content so probably if you are working with SharePoint then you can just bind that with the SharePoint columns so this entire body would be dynamic for you and then you can just make calls so I'll just do a test operation manually for this flow continue and run the flow and done so our flow ran successfully and in response in output if you see we got this output and from this element we can just read out like what the output is and we can in turn save that back to SharePoint using update item so probably you might have got the context that we can call a SOAP API using Power Automate along with other REST APIs call which used to be straightforward but this SOAP API calls involve two step we have to create the JSON file using Postman as in first step and then use that JSON file into Power Automate custom connector create a custom connector and use that custom connector in, in your flow that's three steps involved so I hope this you will find this video useful for you and if you do please like my video and do subscribe thank you